Hi, welcome to our video. This is a quick video to help you if you are experiencing issues with your phone, uh, particularly with the Play Store and Play Store services. Now, the Play Store may have updated itself and your phone is running slow, it's laggy, it's um, you know not sending text messages and a variety of other things like uh, battery life. Now, this could be caused by the Play Store update. Sometimes the Google update the Play Store and then it causes issues of a variety of things. Mine is okay because this is quite a fresh phone and I haven't really got much on it but if you've got a lot of apps and things all those apps go through Google services so if the place if there's an issue with the Play Store or the Play Store services you're going to experience issues. Now this is a temporary workaround so you can get your phone back to operational status. Now, there are drawbacks. You won't be able to use the Play Store with this solution, but hopefully the Google will notice that there's issues and update the Play Store and you can be back to normal. So, if you are experiencing problems, this is a great way to have a temporary solution. So, let's get to it. So, first of all, what we're gonna do is make sure the internet is turned off. Now, if you do all this and your internet's turned on, all that will happen is Google Play Store will update itself and you'll have the same issues again. So make sure your internet is turned off. Dev depending on your device, you'll need to do it differently, but on here I'll turn the Wi-Fi off. Now you need to make sure mobile data is off as well. So on your SIM card, mobile data is off. You can turn it off there that way, or depending on your device, you might need to go to here, um, settings, then go to more, and then go to mobile networks and make sure it's turned off here. Um, so make sure mobile network, mobile data and your Wi-Fi is turned off. So what we need to do is uninstall any updates that the Play Store and Play Store services has had. So we need to get into settings, we need to go to apps, and then in the downloaded or whatever section may be running, mostly going to be in the downloaded. Find the Google Play services first and uninstall updates. Like that and just say yes to everything there. And then go back and then on the Google Play Store uninstall updates for that too. and then we'll see it's returned back to the factory uh, default. Now, your phone should be much better now, behaving much better and things like that, but the moment you turn internet on, you'll have issues because the Google Play Store and the services will update itself. So what you need to do, I'm gonna put a link in the description of the video to download this particular app, and then use this app to block the update so the Google cannot update itself and you'll have issues. Again, this is only a temporary fix. This will allow you to turn internet on so you can use uh, the internet for browsing and um, email and things like that, but you just won't be able to use the Play Store until there is a better fix. So um, download the app from the description, put it on a memory card like I've done on here, put that into your device or phone, and that's the quickest way to get that um, on your phone or your device. Now you need to make sure on security here that unknown sources here is enabled, otherwise it won't let you install. You will get another prompt if it's not enabled, let's unenable it, you will get a prompt which I'll show you. So what we need to do, the file manager, we need to go to the SD card because that's where I've got the app. I've got it as no root firewall. We're going to install a firewall which will stop the app from updating itself. So we install it, again look, install blocked, we can say yes we want to allow unknown sources down here. So we allow that and then we can go back and we can install it and it should be fine installing. And then we open the app and we want it to auto start with the phone. So it's the first thing that starts up so you can stop any communication that the uh, Play Store and Play Store services make. So we do the auto start on boot and then we want to start that process as well. Just press OK to that. And then we want to block some things. So first of all, 
it's best to block anything associated with updates. Um, so we've got the Android system, we're going to block that as well. Click it a few times to block both Wi-Fi and mobile data. So until you get the cross there, and we're going to block anything that says Google. So here, Google Account Manager, we want to block that. We want to block that as well. Google Partner Setup, let's block that just to be on the safe side. Again, Google Play Store, block, oh, block. Um, and I think I think oh and the system updates we don't want a, a system update updating the Play Store as well so we block that too so anything with Google on it anything with system update we want to block it so it can't update itself so we've done that now as you can see we've blocked all those items so if you're happy you've blocked all those items, we're going to turn the Wi-Fi back on now and hopefully it will not update itself. So we're back on the internet now, so let's see if we can uh, access Google or the internet in general. Right, since we've got the firewall enabled, you can see a notification up here, it's, it's, it's blocked that, so we need to enable that. So we go to here, and we need to allow the browser here, oh, just allow the font manager, that shouldn't cause a problem, but we allow the, um, the browser to access the internet. Again, if you've got an email app, you may need to allow it. Just at the top there, it will show it needs to access you can click it and then allow access now if, so now if we go back to the browser you can see we've got internet access so if you've got an email app and you need internet access do that now like I said before the drawback is that you won't be able to use the Play Store because since we've blocked it from having internet access so you won't be able to use that but your phone will be operational now, uh, text messages will come through, your emails and things will work providing you've given it access via the firewall and then um, your battery life should be better as well. So you can see the list of what you've given access to here and what you've blocked here as well. So do have a play around with that. Now this is the best workaround for now. So if you had a Play Store or Play Services update this is a good workaround to at least get your device functional again. Thanks very much for watching this video. If this video has helped you, please like, share and comment and spread the word. And uh, if you've got time, please subscribe to our videos. It really helps us. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.